Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we are quickly going over the area of an equilateral triangle. What is the area of an equilateral triangle? Well, we know we can use the formula area equals one half base times height to find the area of any triangle we want. So we can use this for any generic triangle. It works just fine. The only problem with it is it takes a little bit of time because you've got to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the height of your triangle. But with an equilateral triangle, there's because of the relationship of the sides, they're all equal in an equilateral triangle. So we might have something like this. Let's say it's the length of its base is b, and that's one variable in our area equation. But because it's an equilateral triangle, every side's congruent, so every other side is b also. So because of these relationships, we can express the height of an equilateral triangle in terms of the base in a way that it's always going to be true. So we get a special area formula for equilateral triangles. You can use this one, but the special equilateral triangle area formula doesn't require you to find the height. So it's really handy to know, um, and I'll do a separate video on proving why it's true. So I hope you'll check that out to get a more in-depth understanding of why this is the case. And it's a pretty, uh, pretty easy, straightforward proof. So I strongly recommend that. Check that out. I'll probably put a link to it in the end of the descript in the end of the video once I release that video. So the formula is b squared multiplied by the square root of three all over four, and that's it. So you can take your base, square it, multiply it by the square root of three, which generally you'll just leave in terms of your squared base multiplied by the square root of three, divided by four. And then, you know, you might do this multiplication on a calculator and round to the nearest tenth or hundredth or whatever you're asked to do. So let's say we have a triangle, equilateral triangle, and it has side lengths that doesn't quite look equilateral, but we'll go with it. Let's say it has side lengths eight, eight, and eight. Of course, it's equilateral. We know they're all eight, so its base length is eight on whichever base you look at. So the area of this triangle is eight squared multiplied by the square root of three and divided by four. So that is equal, push this paper up, that is equal to 64 multiplied by the square root of three divided by four. 64 divided by four is 16. Push that up a little bit more. So we are just left with 16 multiplied by the square root of three. And that's it. That's how you can find the area of an equilateral triangle using this very cool area of an equilateral triangle formula. And once again, I will also do a video on how to prove it. So I hope you'll check that out or go watch somebody else's proof if I don't have that video up yet. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or want anything clarified. I'll see you next time and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet. I can hear your voice from all the way up here, dear. Won't you please come to me? You love it up here, dear. There's a light where I float that erases all black. It makes everything.